The final race of day one comes from Ascot, and it's the Amblin 1965 Chase. It's a Grade 2 event, and at the top we've got Phantom Mask for Leon Van Rensburg. has also got Big Time, Caulfield, Rolex, Cherry, Corletto, Pertico, Darren Thompson, Fabulous Prospect, David Hooley, and Nothing Fancy for Martin Lillard. So just six in this Grade 2 event, then over two miles and three furlongs, quite an odd distance, and away they go. Will that one or two furlongs make much difference because they're normally two and a half miles or two mile five, aren't they? They get to the first of the 15 and the odd two mile tour as well. Um, this is a bit of a strange distance, so it could throw up a surprise. They're all safely over the second, and a big time is the leader, although Ascot is quite a stiff track, so maybe two mile four in the equivalent on some other tracks. But, anyways, big time is in the lead by about three lengths to Fabulous Prospect in second. And Phantom Mask is third, nothing fancy is fourth. Caulfield is in fifth, and Corletto Pertico is at the back, so they're quite well strung out to say they've only jumped three fences. And Big Time is setting the pace and leads by a good two lengths or so to David Hooley's fabulous prospect, who's in second. And the leader went right through that. And Leon's horses have not been jumping that one again today. He's had a few on the deck on day one. And it's something that Seems to have crept into his stable this season. I don't remember there being too many fallers last year, but talking about top stables that have a lot of fallers, where's John Morgan gone? John Morgan used to run some great front-running horses in these jump races. Flashy greys that used to go off at a million miles an hour and either win or fall. And I haven't seen any for weeks. I don't know if he actually got any jumpers in this season. All I can say John Morgan, if for any bizarre reason you're watching this, if you probably aren't, um, stick some jumpers in in the in the window because the horses always make the races more entertaining you only put them in when you think they've got a chance of winning as well so it always makes it interesting when there's a John Morgan front runner to set the pace but anyway we're waffling again and it's big time and fabulous prospect who are disputing the lead from nothing fancy in third as they get to the sixth all safely over the sixth and it's big time now Settled back into a clear lead after that early mistake, went going well enough in between the fences. And he made that one mistake, gets into the next, jumped that one really nicely. Nothing fancy jumped up into second momentarily, but has now been passed by the stable companion of the leader. So Leon's got a 1 2 at the moment, big time and phantom mask as they get to this ditch. And over that one they all go, nothing fancy on the inside is third, on the outside, Curletto Portico. And then Fabulous Prospect and finally Caulfield at the back as they get over number nine. Bit of a slow jump by a couple of them towards the back. Caulfield and Fabulous Prospect. But Big Time continues to lead by about two lengths to Corletto Pertigo closest to us. On that one's inside is nothing fancy on the rail. Then comes Fabulous Prospect and Phantom Mask and then Caulfield. The pace must have just dropped a little bit there because they're beginning to concertina there. And Big Time is in the lead by about three quarters of a length to Corletto Pertigo in second. Nothing Fancy might get boxed in on the inside there as Fabulous Prospect comes along the outside. Oh, Fabulous Prospect dived at that one and made a mistake. And has lost a couple of lengths down to the 11th. They go. Good jump there by Nothing Fancy. Sees that one come alongside the new leader, Corletto Pertigo. Big time battles back on the inside. Over that ditch they go. And Nothing Fancy has come through to challenge Big Time now. They've got three more to take. This is a third last. And over that one, Big Time landed in the lead. Nothing Fancy is second. Corletto Pertigo is next. And then Fabulous Prospect. Then Caulfield. Finally, Phantom Mask. Nothing's out of this yet with two to jump. And it's Big Time in the lead on the inside from Corletto Pertigo in second. Nothing Fancy is third. Caulfield is trying to get up the inside. Then Phantom Mask and Fabulous Prospect. They're coming down towards the second last then there. And Nothing Fancy was in second a minute ago. He's now last over the second last they go. And it's big time from Corletto Pertigo. These two are three clear of the rest of them now. And it's surely between these as they come down towards the final fence. It's Corletto Pertigo closest to us. Big time over on the far side. Corletto Pertigo looks to be going the better. Corletto Pertigo is pulling away. Jumps the final fence. Gets away from it well and Corletto Pertigo races into the final third with a clear lead of four or five lengths from Fabulous Prospect is running the second, Caulfield is running the third Big Time's got nothing left and up the line it's Corletto Pertigo who takes the Hamlin 1965 chase from Fabulous Prospect second, Caulfield third then Big Time, nothing fancy and finally Phantom Mask and Corletto Pertigo takes it for Darren Thompson winning by a good five lengths in the end, 
from Fabulous Prospect, second for David Hooley. Caulfield Run Exchange was third. Big time for Leon Van Rensburg was fourth. And Nothing Fancy was fifth. So that's your day one then of week five. And we'll be back with more thrills and spills and action tomorrow.